It is time now for our focus report. Today we're going to turn our eye to Atlanta. That's a city which symbolizes the civil rights struggle in the United States. It's also home to a new movement which is called Buy Black. Well, faced with poverty, unemployment and repeated police violence, the idea is to promote business and investment amongst African Americans and to encourage peers to spend their money in their own black community. Well, La France 24 team went to find out more about how it all works. Babe. Sideways, but make sure you get the one. The man in the middle says if you're black and American, you should keep your money in the African American community. The rapper and political activist Killer Mike is determined to penalize a system he believes is racist. Economic sanctions are his weapons of choice against injustice and police brutality. If you learn how to play the eco economic game, you can use that as effectively as any other tool of war, right? Black people had $1 trillion spending money, and we spend it in an unfocused way, so our dollar and we are not respected. So my, amidst all this turbulence in America right now, my solution for how to improve our communities is to start to economically insulate ourselves from oppression by banking black, buying black, being black, and letting everything else take care of itself. Thousands of people have taken that bit of advice literally. Among them is Sharif Abdul Malik. You know, the way I feel about it is that America trained black people to be the psychological child. He is on his way to the bank to withdraw money from a large financial institution. He explains his thinking to the teller at the bank. I'm leaving Bank of America for a black owned bank. Can I see your debit card? Did you swipe this one? You gave it back to me? Oh, no. Within minutes, he withdraws almost all of his savings. The sum amounts to tens of thousands of dollars. They will now head to another bank, one that is owned and run by African Americans. Sharif wants to convince a million other black Americans to do the same. And the amounts of money in play are quite substantial. Uh, today we're going to do 50,000, uh, 10,000 in cash and, and 40,000 in, uh, in a check form. All right, thank you. Black-owned banks in Atlanta are seeing a big rise in their trade. But Sharif won't stop there. He has created a website that promotes only black businesses. He makes sure each potential seller is indeed African-American. It's a non-negotiable condition to be allowed to trade on this online platform. Sharif explains how he would react to a white American who might want to sell his or her products on his site. Sell on your website? Right. How do you treat their demand? Well, I asked them that um, whether or not they identify themselves as a black-owned business. And um, if they already said that they're white, then of course they're not considered a black-owned business. Therefore, they're not accepted to sell on, on the website. Everything is for sale on webuyblack.com, even a laundry detergent made, packed and sold by a black-owned company. Nothing is left to chance. Even the labels on the boxes are made by a company that was previously deemed sufficiently black. Wanting to support black, more black-owned businesses. So, I found... With a bit of online promotion and word of mouth, Business is good, according to the sales director. People, people is like water. If you don't, if you go to the ocean with a little small bucket, that's what you're gonna get. Sharif is improving our marketing skills and sending us bigger market of people, and that's what we need. We into people. The more people we see, the more sales we can make. Uh, we want to start producing our own everything, you know, from toothbrushes to toothpaste to yeah. deodorant. I mean, just everything, clothes, I mean, everything that we need. Sharif and those who share his ideology say they won't back down from creating a parallel society within the United States. We've been subordinated uh, by America and, the, and white supremacy, and we just want to get away from that, you know, and so I don't think anybody would say that we shouldn't interact with other people and work with other people and do business, but we want to do it in such a way that uh, our dignity is maintained and, and protected and restored. I don't think like a Negro, I think like a ruler. Yes. I know, and my first goal is to rule myself. I know that the only way that we are going to destroy the system of racism and white supremacy is for us to step up to the podiums, to the podium and become rulers.
In Atlanta, the movement has gained quite a bit of momentum, but there are challenges as well. Sharif says that deep divisions persist within the African-American community, and his big frustration is that wealthy black Americans shy away from radical movements like his very own. You got enough money to buy this woman 10 houses. 